Dear all, in this message, I'll talk briefly about myself in relation to my work, my country's Arab Spring, which has already turned into a hot summer, and I will conclude with uh, a humanitarian appeal. My name is Sayyid Jalal Nasser. I has joined I have joined the Shura Council, the upper house of Bahrain's parliament, uh, just after the country was declared a kingdom in 2002. I was the first IT professional to be recruited in the General Secretariat of the Shura Council. Uh, at that time when I was recruited, the Shura Council was still using uh, this type of old-fashioned cassettes to record their uh, proceedings. And almost all of their operations were done manually. I have put the first strategic plan for the implementation of information technology in both of the houses. As the lower houses at that time was, has not been uh, elected yet. And their, and their building was under construction. After establishing the IT infra infrastructure, I have been awarded uh, achieving a scholarship to, to study in the UK. Uh, the, the, the achieving scholarship is funded by the UK government and by, mean, and by means of this scholarship, I have finished my master degree. During that course, I have developed, I have devised a leading e-parliament model that I have implemented in the Shura Council. Uh, Al-Ayam newspaper uh, published at that time that the Shura Council, an article, uh, an article titled, the Shura Council is to implement an e-parliament model in which they have described my uh, e-parliament model, the, the one that I have de uh, devised. Uh, at the sa uh, same time, I have uh, presented my master's thesis. I have also presented my uh, thesis to the chairman of the lower house, who is also the chairman of, the, of Bahrain's National Dialogue. Uh, Mr. Khalifa al-Dahrani. During that same era, I have visited many parliament to learn from their best practices in boosting the parliamentary operations, especially by means of uh, information technology. For example, I have visited the, uh, the Australian parliament this photo was taken during that visit. I have also visited the uh, Moroccan parliament. Uh, here is a photo from that visit where the wall photo is showing here uh, the late uh, Moroccan king, King Al Hassan Al Thani. I have also visited the uh, Australian Parliament. Here is uh, one of the photos from that visit. Also among the parliaments that I have visited was the uh, Egyptian Parliament, where the full photo is showing the former Egyptian King, uh, um, President, President uh, Hosni Mubarak. And here is also a visit, uh, a photo from a visit to the uh, Egyptian parliament, in addition to uh, other parliaments that I have visited. Also during that time, uh, the current chairman of the Shura Council has paid a visit to our directorate. After fully establishing the directorate with its different departments, I have been awarded uh, another scholarship, uh, a merit-based scholarship uh, to study again in the UK for the PhD. And this time the scholarship was from, uh, and this time the scholarship was from the uh, Islamic Development Bank, 
which belongs to the uh, Islamic Conference. I have finished my PhD project and I have uh, defended my th the related thesis where now I am waiting to be awarded the PhD uh, certificate after uh, normal uh, corrections that I have been asked to make to the th thesis after they will be approved. After the approvement of these corrections, I will be awarded the uh, PhD degree. In January 2000 and, uh, 2011, I have returned to Bahrain with an ambitious plan to uh, put uh, Bahrain's parliament among the leading parliaments in implementing information technologies for boosting the information, uh, the parliamentary operations. Th this plan is based on my PhD study in which I have interviewed almost half of the parliament members, including a chairman from each, a vice chairman from each of the houses. Shortly after returning to Bahrain, uh, shortly after I have returned to Bahrain, the Arab Spring movements have erupted and reached, the, uh, reached my country, Bahrain, almost instantly, which wasn't an aberration for this small island nation. Events moved very fast, and suddenly I found myself dismissed from my work as part of uh, related mass sackings. However, I, uh, as I was watching in disbelief the dramatic developments unfolding in my country, I considered my case to be uh, re relatively insignific insignificant. These shocking events uh, brought to my mind a statement made by the, uh, by the Turkish uh, a Prime Minister, Mr. Rajab uh, Tayyip Erdogan, who ha that contains a warning of a new Karbala uh, happening in Bahrain. The tragedy of Karbala, in which uh, the, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon, upon him, and his progeny, Imam Hussein, was martyred with, with his family by the tyrann uh, tyrannical uh, Umayyad ruler, or so-called uh, Khalifa, Caliph Yazid I, took a place in uh, the seventh uh, century. Needless to say that the incitement, uh, the insightful uh, warning of Mr. Erdogan has not been heeded, and uh, as the famous sayings goes, uh, كل يوم عاشوراء وكل أرض كربلاء. Every land, every day is Ashura, and every land is Karbala. Where Ashura uh, literally means the tenth, and it refers to the tenth day of the Islamic month of Muharram, uh, the day in which Imam Hussein and his family were murdered. Martyred. Uh, as in his loneliness, in that. Uh, scorching desert, Imam Hussein called out, Hal min nasrin yansurana, is there anyone to help, uh, to help us? Uh, the people of Bahrain who yearned, who yearned to uh, justice and dignity are also calling out with these same words of, uh, of Imam Hussein who became a symbol of all of these uh, high human values for people from different uh, religions, backgrounds, and uh, cultures from all over the world. Uh, these are my little daughters. Uh, they are granddaughters of Imam Hussein, as I am saying, descending from Imam Hussein. And their mother also is a descending from uh, the Imam Hussein. They have the right to uh, enjoy the wealth of this country and this country of old history of ancient civilizations 
has the right to be developed by its own people. It has the right to benefit from my experience and of the many years I spent abroad uh, learning and training. Uh, so why I have to hit the streets as an unemployed person looking for a new job? I won't. I will not as I have a right and my, and my people, these peaceful people demanding, who are demanding freedom and equality with non-violent means have rights too. The community of civilized nations has a responsibility towards these people. This is an appeal to the international conscience and to the Secretary General of the United Nations for helping with this humanitarian situation. Thank you. Sayyid Jalal Salman Hassan Nasser, Bahrain, August Ramadan 2011.